Hey, what's going on guys? I am back. I am Gaming Insiders with another brand new solo money glitch for you today, guys. Um, i first like to, uh, just to address, sorry I've been away for the last couple of days. I've been at work and the time I've gotten home, I've just been too buggered to even get online. So I've missed out on um, quite a lot. But I am back today with another GTA Online glitch video. And in this glitch video, I'll be showing you how you can make a ton of money really, really, really fast. And if you've seen my recent money glitches, um, you'll know that um, there's probably a new money glitch circulating around. So that, that's the glitch I'm doing today. I'm doing the new arcade or nightclub methods. So you can use both uh, methods in this glitch. Um, it, it depends on what property you want to use. So you, if you don't have an arcade and you have a nightclub, most likely you do have a nightclub. But if you have a nightclub, you are best to use the nightclub um, First thing you're going to want to do is you want to make yourself into a free aim lobby. That's number one thing. You also want to have the, the usual stuff. You want the MOC and in your MOC, you, you in Bay 3, you're going to want personal vehicle storage. Now, it has to be personal vehicle storage or else you're not going to be able to get this to work at all. So make sure of that, that you've got personal vehicle storage. And then, of course, if you're using the nightclub, make sure you have a free elegy stored at your entrance level, not in any of your other levels. So only at your entrance level, you want your free elegy. But if you're using the arcade, now you want to just put as many of those free elegies as you can into your arcade. So fill your arcade up if you're using the arcade. That way you can rinse and repeat as many times as you want. So with that being said, um, also all the SP to MP glitches have been patched. Guys, so if you were able to take advantage of any of them glitches, there was quite a few of them. There was even a major chip glitch that you could do where you could trade in all your chips, but because your chips were frozen, you could make a hell of a lot of money from that. Um, unfortunately, that got patched within a day of being released. So if you were able to do that, just make sure you're able to spend it. And um, yeah, because Rockstar could do a money wipe and you could be in the firing line of that money wipe. And you just want to make sure if you're going to be in that firing line, you just want to be able to spend all that money so they can't take any money off you because they can't take property off you. Um, I've never heard of Rockstar taking any money off anyone. And look at that. <laughs> look where I've got myself. Well, well. Okay. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so now that you're at your bunker and you have the car you want to duplicate stored in the back of your MOC right there. So that's what where you want the car you want to duplicate. You want that stored there. You want the free elegy either at your nightclub or at your arcade. So I am just going to go into Legendary Motorsport really quickly here, guys. And I'm going to quickly sort by price and get to the free elegy. Give it a colour and order it. Okay, so now I am going to put it at the nightclub service entrance. So that's where, if you're using the nightclub, that's where you want your free elegy. So right there is where the car is going. So let's go to the back of our MOC. And let's drive out the car we are duplicating. So 
Now let's just park it off to the side just like this. It doesn't really matter where it, you park it as long as you just park it inside your bunker and just head out to the exit by foot. So now that you've made it outside, you want to make your way over to the property you are using. So for me, I'm going to be using my nightclub. It's all the way down here. Okay, so that's where my nightclub is. That's where you, I've got two choices here. I can take a CEO buzzard or some sort of transportation just like that. Use a friend even to get me around. Or I can job teleport. So if you know how to job teleport, or I've even got a video on my channel how to job teleport. So if you want to know how to do that, I'll leave a link in the description on how to do that. So I'll be just taking the buzzard, so I'll just be registering as a CEO. Now I'm going to make my way over to the nightclub, so I'll see you over at the nightclub. Oakley doakley, so now that I'm over at my nightclub, I am just going to enter the nightclub. As you can see, I've got my free elegy parked right here at the service entry. So that's exactly where you want your free elegy to be. Now all you want to do is make your way actually into the nightclub. My nightclub's pretty empty. Laszlo's not getting around, that's a good thing. Now all we want to do is make our way through to where you can serve drinks. So we'll make our way all the way through here to the point where you can serve drinks. And that's where the low life Laszlo is. Now you want to do is you want to join somebody in a different targeting mode. So what I'm gonna do here guys, I am going to join somebody in my community. So I'm on PlayStation 4 and I'm gonna use my community. So now we're going to find someone in the community that we know for sure who's going to be in assisted aim. Now pretty much every time I do a glitch I have biggest dickus, such a legend you are buddy, in my buddy patrol community that I use to bounce off of. So I am going to use him to join. So I'm now I'm getting GTA Online Session Details. I should always get this first alert to want to join a different GTA Online Session. And here, guys, you want to accept this alert. From here, guys, you're going to get this different targeting alert. So now this time, instead of accepting this alert, we are declining this alert. Now we're going to press right on the D-pad. Go straight to online, go straight to criminal enterprise starter pack, back out of there, go into jobs, player job, rockstar created, and we just want to start the very first one up, bomb ball. And we should get this job is no longer available alert. You just want to now accept this alert. Now we want to press the pause button. And now we want to go down to purchase shark card. Now we're on the shark card screen. All we want to do here is now press our pause button to back out of that. And we should be able to walk away with 
that press right d-pad option on screen so as you can see I am now walking away and I am seeing this leave the bar press right on the d-pad to leave the bar on screen and it's staying there so the same thing will happen if you're using the arcade so in the arcade you just want to make your way to the spot where you can serve drinks also so it is the same principle here so if you're using the arcade you use the same principle now this is where the glitch gets tricky this is where I've heard the glitch either can fail on you or it can work on you so this is the hard part here guys this is where it needs some big timing now if you just hopefully I can do it right as well so if you just go along with me and hopefully we can do this together so what I want to do is I want to get in to my free elegy right here but as I get in I'm going to be pressing right on the d-pad at a certain point then I'm going to be tapping the accelerator okay so that's what we're going to be doing so let's do that so let's get in and I tap the accelerator and as I come outside my car has now disappeared so that is telling me I've hit the glitch so if that happened so the timing that I used for that is as soon as I seen my head basically duck into the car I then pressed right on the d-pad and you would have seen yourself disappear and then once you've seen yourself disappear then you are tapping the accelerator to go outside and if all goes well you should have the same result as I did so I'm going to catch you when I get on to my bunker okay guys so now we have made it back over to the bunker to finish off this duplication this is where the real magic happens and this is where we make the ton of money so as you can see the car I left here at the beginning of the video is still here so of course I am using an LG retro custom you can use an arena war vehicle and as you can see my plates also changed to the free LG that I just took out of the nightclub so now all I want to do here guys is take it to the back of the MOC from here we're gonna it is very simple we're gonna press right on the d-pad and we're gonna get this awesome full alert telling us a vehicle will be transferred so the original vehicle that I started with is now over at the nightclub and the duplicated version of that car is now in the MOC so there there it is guys that is the new duplication glitch that you guys can take advantage of right now in GTA Online. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making this video for you guys. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe for more GTA Online content just like this. Until the next awesome GTA Online glitch video on Gaming Insiders, and I'll catch you.